Hey guys, this is Mike from Shop Foreman Garage. Today working with World Car Auto Group. And we are looking at this CX-5 Mazda. The customer states that it has ghost touch. Ghost? Seriously? Technicians have to worry about ghosts now? That's fine. Great. a moth well truth going on and being told ghost touch is what Mazda calls the phenomena 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 the state in which the display screen starts to select different things um, that you don't select just all on its own it changes the radio station it's um, changes the navigation system, it uh, starts calling people, it orders pizza, hey, who's paying for that? So there are actually two different types of uh, uh, what they would call ghost touch. One is uh, where it, you know, orders pizza that you gotta pay for, and the other one would be that uh, it does not select what you select on the screen it may select something else or just not select anything at all. And uh, this vehicle uh, just happens to have ghost touch. And I will show you how we can test it right now. So the way that we would test this right here is we would test so you can see that Whatever I hit, it seems to be working, right? For the most part. But what we can do is we can put this screen in test mode. And by doing that, we will be pushing this button, this button, and this button at the same time. And the screen will go into test mode. And we can put a code in and we can test the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see the screen is now in uh, test screen mode and I have to put the code in to test the screen. The code is 70. I hit seven, there it is, 70, hit enter, enter. You can see it's not really accepting my touch very easily. So there it is. And wherever you touch the screen, it should change color and show that you touch the screen. And while this vehicle, this screen is doing all right, right now, there are areas where it does not want to touch and it just gets worse as it heats up and the heat of the day, it'll get even worse. And right now it's not accepting my touch at all. It's just not setting it and I'm pushing pretty hard. You should not have to push hard on this. It should just, you know, take it. You just barely touch it and it, it, it should take it. So this definitely has uh, the ghost touch. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is um, I need to take the screen out and I need to look at the part number. And the part number will tell me if we can actually, if we need to replace the entire display or if um, we can put a display kit in it, which in that case, we will be taking all the electronics out of it and um, 
putting that into a kit which just basically replaces this back and the uh, the screen itself on the display so I'm gonna start taking it out and check it out okay so we are going to pull this top part of this dash out which is it's fairly easy it just has a bunch of clips in it Then we got two bolts here and two screws and I should be able to pull this out and look at the number, the part number underneath. And you got to be careful, don't scratch the customer's dashboard. And I got a lot of wires in here. So just take your time and be careful. If they have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, which this one does, they'll have the two cables in the back. And, um, if they don't, it'll only have one cable. So just make sure that these cables go back where they belong when you put it back together. And we'll get you in here and we'll look at this part number. So, well, it's really hard to see in this, but that label down in there has the part number on it. And I can read the last part of the part number which is 611J0A, and that is actually a number um, that uh, requires the kit. So we will be selling a customer a new kit rather than the actual display itself, because uh, this display is pretty expensive and it doesn't need the whole display. Um, just the um, the screen. The screen is the main issue. So um, we will um, see what the customer wants to do, and I'll let you know. So the customer did decide to go ahead and do this screen display kit. So we're going to go ahead and get that in right now. So we're going to be taking the display screen off of the audio unit here. There are two connectors on the bottom side of it that we need to pull off. Right there. And this is the coax cable. So there we go. Set that aside. This is the display kit.
gloves. This is the new display. We'll set this aside for right now. I don't want to open that until I'm ready to. Uh, this is the backing portion of it. So this we need to take off. Before we take this off, I need to put these gloves on because uh, any chances of uh, getting contamination in there or, uh, or static electricity or anything like that, it, it could be bad for the electronics of it so you need to wear these gloves to uh, keep any contamination down so let's get this off it's got two small little screws on either side and then it is clipped on so it's got clips back here so we need to pop this clips off so we need to pop this clip off very carefully separate the backing from the display screen here so this will be replacing Here are electronics on the inside. So we need to get this bracket off. It's got four small screws. Get that bracket off, set that aside. So there are three of these printed circuit harness cables that have to be pulled out. That one out of there. So this is the electronics that we're going to be moving over to the new screen. This is the old display screen. So this is the new one, of course. So let's get this in here right now. That's pretty much just reverse of uh, taking it apart. Uh, you just got to make sure that these printed circuit wiring harness wires, they got to they go in just right and make sure they're in and clipped in properly. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have issues. You just got to be careful that they're in place properly and this is locked down. All right. And we get this top bracket back on and get these screws in. Okay, so that's on. And then now the new back. Just snap that into place. 
And there we go. I need to get to these two screws on. And then put this back on to the audio unit. Uh, this right here is what they call the Connect Master Unit. It's the Masa Connect System Master Unit. It's the audio unit. And Put this harness in. get these screws all the screws started before we actually tighten everything down These two. And that is good to go. We'll stick this back into the back into the vehicle and it'll be done. Okay, we got the new display in. Uh, let's check it out. Make sure that everything works. It looks like it is has booting up. 
Uh, let's see if that I can get this with one hand. And there it is. Seven zero, enter, and it is switching at every point. So this display, it's good. It's good to go. So there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. Um, please like and subscribe. And um, if you uh, like this content, we will be doing uh, more work with uh, World Car Auto Group. So thanks again. I'll see you next time.